So in the last few days, the internet's been going crazy over GTX 1080 Ti rumors and the fact that that rumor featured the graphics card carrying no GDDR5X on board. I'm gonna give you guys my opinion today and let you know why I think this rumor could actually carry a lot of weight to it. What is down guys, other than that memory on the upcoming GTX 1080 Ti, and that's exactly what I'm gonna be talking about today with you guys, because we've got some rumors, and they've been released. And we're talking 3,328 CUDA cores. We're talking 12 gigabytes of GDDR5 memory. Now I'm gonna stop there. GDDR5 memory, not 5X, which was featured on the GTX 1080. It was also featured on the Titan XP, or the Pascal version of Titan. And this is kind of an interesting rumor, and one that I actually think is going to be true when we look at how everything operates. And the first thing is, Micron are the only people producing 5X at the moment, and it costs more than GDDR5, which has been out for almost a decade now, essentially. So with that, we can see NVIDIA try to pull off this play. And the reason why they might get away with it is because the bandwidth shouldn't be too much of an issue. When we look at the fact that it's got a 384 bit wide bus there on the memory, as opposed to the GTX 1080, which only has 256 bits, we can see that we've got a 50% increase there. And then we look at the actual data rate of the memory. We've got GDDR5 memory, the standard stuff, pushing eight gigabits per second. So versus 10 gigabits per second on the GDDR5X. And now how this weighs into play here is as simple. Picture it like a highway. You've got four lanes on the GTX 1080. You've got four trucks driving at an aggregate speed of 125 kilometers per hour each. Now you've got a total speed there of about 500 kilometers per hour. Now if we contrast that to the theoretical GTX 1080 Ti that's gonna be released, we can see that we've got six lanes now. So we're opening up another two lanes and we've got six trucks and they're traveling at 100 kilometers per hour. Now we have a total speed of 600 kilometers per hour. So we've got a 25% increase still on that memory bandwidth if we compare it to the GTX 1080. Now we look at the CUDA cores, we're getting about 30% more CUDA cores there. So 25% more memory bandwidth and we've got 30% more CUDA cores. That kind of makes sense to me that they're going to play this play when it comes to the sales of the GTX 1080 Ti. Not only that, it's not gonna to distract too much away from the GTX 1080 sales itself. If you guys remember the GTX 980, when the 980 Ti came out, everyone just completely forgot about the GTX 980. I don't think Nvidia wants a repeat of that. I think they wanna keep selling those GTX uh, 1080s and they also wanna keep selling the Titan XPs as well. So they can do that by simply giving the Titan XP 5X and giving the GTX 1080 Ti non-X. And I think that way the hardcore gamers will still end up going out and buying that 1080 Ti because it's like that price performance king play there. It's the king of the graphics cards in the gaming world, but it's also gonna have better price performance than a Titan XP. And then GTX 1080, that's still gonna be a good play as well because it carries that 5X, or at least people will think that way and they'll be inclined to go out and buy one over a 1080 Ti, they'll be like, well, I don't need that much performance. I'm just gonna get the 1080 and save a bit of money as well. Now, as for price, we still don't exactly know how much this graphics card is gonna cost and when it's exactly going to be released, but I'm pretty sure we can expect this thing to be coming out maybe possibly just before Christmas or just after. I think that's looking like the date when this card's gonna be released. So yes, 1080 Ti, huge specs there. It's gonna be a down cut Titan XP, and I do think that they're gonna cut down that memory bandwidth by using standard GDDR5. Though with that out of the way, we got the rumors here surfacing with a core clock of 1503 megahertz with a boost clock of 1623. Now that's coming in under the GTX 1080. And since CUDA cores are a huge factor in performance for any graphics card from Nvidia, we can expect that that extra 25% bandwidth available on the memory shouldn't be too much of a problem because it doesn't carry the 5X and we've got those lower clock speeds, it pretty much evens out. So you can start to see that this rumor carries a lot more weight when you think about it properly. Now, a lot of people out there are like, well, you know, 5X has the ability to process 64 bits of data per pin as opposed to standard memory, which only can process 32 bits. And that's a valid concern, except it doesn't apply to gaming. So, you know, that's out the window. When we make those valid comparisons with the GTX 1080 versus the 1070, 
we can see that the GTX 1080 really only carries that extra speed on the memory itself due to the faster memory. And then the last point that I believe makes this rumor solid is the fact that we've already got the GTX 1070 out there in the wild. This thing's sporting GDR5 memory, and it's got the same die as the GTX 1080, which is sporting GDR5X memory. So what we can see here is one has the 5X, one has the standard 5, and they're both the same die both pretty much on the same PCB layout there. It's pretty much the same configuration, but Nvidia's shown the market already that they can do this. They can pull this off with the GPUs. So I think that this is actually going to be a realistic play from Nvidia, especially with that memory compression being upgraded with uh, Pascal over Maxwell's. Anyways, that's just my opinion on the 1080 Ti. I hope you enjoyed this little video sort of gameplay commentary. I had, it's been a while since I've done one of these. I've just set up my new V67G microphone from MXL. Pretty damn sexy microphone. Hopefully it sounds pretty good as well. So let me know what you guys think in the comments section below too. Do you agree or do you disagree? Do you think that the GTX 1080 Ti is going to carry that lower grade GDR5 memory versus the GDR5X? And if so, why or why not? I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. And if you like this video, then please hit that like button and I'll catch you guys in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye.